Hey guys, welcome to Crafter Support. I'm Andrea. Today I'm going to share with you how to make another project with this cute set from Hobby Lobby. This is the Paper Studio Mermaid Dreams kit and it comes with all the ephemera. I have a video up on showing everything that you get with this pack. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making as many projects as I can out of it that I would use or um, so basically what I'm doing is showing you just how much you can make with this kit and for the price it really can't be beat. So the first thing we're going to do today is make a card and what I'm going to show you is I am using a piece of white cardstock from Stampin' Up. Now you can use any cardstock you want, any brand you want. That I'm just letting you know what I'm using. And what I'm going to do is make a really simple card but super cute. So the first thing I need to do is cut my paper down. So when you're cutting your paper um, to make cards, always cut, and I say this with vinyl as well, always cut with the smallest cut first. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I need to cut it down to four and a quarter by 11. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I already know this is 12 inches, so I'm not gonna cut it by 11 and then cut all that off. I'm just gonna cut the four and the quarter side. So I'm gonna pull it to four and a quarter. And this particular cutter from Stampin' Up, I like to use whenever I use their paper. I feel like it's designed best for their product. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I feel. So this also has an arm that pulls out and now I'm gonna cut it at the 11. And then I'll show you how much you're like of your paper that you're saving. Okay, so otherwise we would have cut this whole sheet at 11 and then we would have had like a small piece left over and then we would have had to cut an inch off of that piece and then another cut. This is the least amount of cuts you need to make if you cut it at the smaller size first. As long as you know the second cut is gonna fit, cut it at the smaller size first. So this is all scrap and we can use that for another project. And now we have our base that is four and a quarter by 11. And now we need to score it at five and a half. So I'm just gonna line it up at five and a half. And the Stampin' Up! trimmer has a um, scoring piece right in it. So I'm just trying to make it simple today for you guys and just show you a lot of the trimmers out there have a scoring tool on it and a cutting blade so as long as you know the difference you're good and basically what the score will do is give you the option to easily fold your card and keep it straight so for right now we're done with that piece so this is your card base right here so it's going to be a tent fold card and let me go ahead and use my bone folder just to make a nice crease on it so now you have your tent fold card a tent fold card is just a card that sets up like a tent so, you know, super easy. Now I need to cut the paper that I'm gonna use. So again, I'm using the Mermaid's Dreams paper. And I think I want to use, I want something, these are the different colors. I'm like searching and trying to figure out what I wanna use. I don't know, I love, I love all of this paper. So I think I'm just gonna go with the golden purple cause that was my favorite. I'm gonna use that and then I need to make a piece for right here that fits in so we know that it's four and a quarter by five and a half because we scored it at five and a half and now I want to cut a piece that is going to be a quarter of an inch all the way around smaller so I'm gonna do four by five and a quarter so again we're gonna cut our smallest piece first so we're gonna cut our four by five and a quarter I love this paper so here's our five and a quarter okay and then this is gonna sit on here with a little tiny white border oh it's very shiny so I'm sorry if it's a glare but it's so pretty okay so we have that and I think we're done with our paper trimmer so I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside and we're gonna go ahead and pull out our ephemera so I was thinking it would be cute to like have one of these pieces on it or like, let me see, the star would be cute. 
this two goldy golds, right? Mermaid at heart. I like that one. This would be cute for a little girl's birthday party. Like this. I like that. Oh, but then we have like the starfish and the little... I don't know. These are, these are so cute. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the mermaid at heart because I think that one matches really nicely. And... We could still do stickers, anything like that. But again, I'm just showing you the basics. If you're just a beginner at crafting and you want to start picking up these little kits, especially when I only paid $3 and change for the kit, they were on sale. They're originally $5.99. Again, I have a video up on it. I got them at Hobby Lobby, um, super easy. So all I'm gonna do is take the four by five and a quarter piece I cut and I'm gonna put um, double-sided tape on it. So these are just tape runners. I believe Brandy found them on Amazon for me the one day. Um, I think I just got mine at Michael's maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I could have got them at Hobby Lobby as well. So there's that. Oh, it's so shiny and pretty. So I think for this, I want to like pump, like push it up. And for that, I do have dimensionals. Now these are from obviously Stampin' Up. You guys know I've I have a ton of Stampin' Up stuff. So I'm gonna use these ones. These are the larger size. They make two different sizes. These are the larger size. Um, I kind of like to use up one sheet before I get another one out. Okay, so I'm just, this is just gonna help bump up the, the design on the front. And this can add a lot of dimension, a lot of, I mean, you can double these up if you wanted to. Um, this can just add a lot to a card. I'm going to go ahead and put these off to the side, clean that up when I'm finished. And now you just peel the little backing off and it's just like foam that has double-sided sticky tape on it. That's all a dimensional is. And again, they make them in different thicknesses. They make some in black. Um, and when I say they, I mean across the board, um, crafting companies make them. You can get a roll of this, which I don't think I have any of my rolls out at the Dollar Tree. Theirs are amazing too. Um, I've never had any issues with them. So I would I would suggest if you're just starting and you wanna to, want to try it. Now those are like tape rolls um, that you can buy. Let me see if I can grab it quickly. Okay, so these are the ones from the Dollar Tree. They're just a roll and it's about the same thickness. It looks about the same thickness. And you just cut it off to the size you want, peel it back and stick it on. So these are really great from the Dollar Tree or the dollar and a quarter tree is what I should say. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this on top. I kinda wanna center it. So there you go, it's it's homemade if it's not perfect. I think it looks really, really pretty. Um, now if you want, if you are an advanced crafter and you have stamps and things, you could for sure stamp happy birthday inside and give it to a little girl who loves mermaids. Um, yeah, so that's a simple craft card that you can make a birthday card for anybody or even a get well card, um, whatever you want to make. Inside, you could put more stickers. I mean, this pack came with a lot of different stickers. It came with more ephemera. It came with alpha letters and gold, but there you go. So I do have envelopes that I purchased. You can purchase these at Michael's. Mine are from Stampin' Up! that I had and they fit nicely down inside and you're ready to go with the card uh, you could also what would be super cute is if you put a little mermaid sticker because i'm going to use this card like i'm not just making it for you guys i'm making it to use and give to somebody so for this card you could easily put let me see where do i want this little sticker at probably over here on this side Oh, that was forgiving, thank goodness, because I didn't have it where I really wanted it. <laughs> I'm going to make it up high enough that it's going to be completely on the card. There you go. So now you have a little mermaid card you can give to somebody. Um, so this is this cute little card we made, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I have more videos coming up for you with this pack, and I'm going to be making some 3D things. But um, yeah, so make a card. Grab some of the the um, packs, grab some stickers. Maybe you have decorative paper at home. You have some stickers. 
Um, you have a, if you have a Cricut, you could easily print and cut some cute designs out. Use the, the double-sided tape from Dollar Tree that I showed you, and you can make a really fabulous card. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I have a puppy that's whining that wants attention, so I'm going to go. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.